Improving your outlook on life, facing each day with optimism and confidence. What if all these things were obtainable, but it involved starting with a working memory? Here to discuss is the author of Working Memory Advantage. Dr. Tracy Alloway is the author, psychologist, associate professor at the University of North Florida, and author of the book, The Working Memory Advantage. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Casey. Okay, so can we obtain all of those things from reading The Working Memory Advantage? I hope so. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, that's one of the big reasons I wanted to write the book because I began to realize that working memory, which is your active memory, how you use your memory at the moment, makes such a big difference. And especially when it comes to mental health. In a recent study that we published, we had a chance to look at things like depression and optimism, but even take it a step further. And we found it was your working memory that directs your attention. So when an event happens, how do you frame that? Do you frame it positively to say, well, this happened, but here are the changes that I can make moving forward. Or do we frame it negatively, such as, oh, I can't believe this happened again. This always happens. Why me? So it's our working memory to actually decide whether we choose that positive frame or that negative frame. And we found that that was the most consistent pattern. And we had 3,000 adults over you know, a range of different demographic backgrounds. And that was the most consistent finding, that if you start off with a good working memory, that can help you frame that more positively, more optimistically, and you are less likely to experience depressive symptoms. If you are a negative Nelly by nature, <laughs> can you change your ways? Is this something that you can train your brain to do to think about negatives in a more positive light to then be more happier? Absolutely. And there are two quick things that you can do. The first is to identify something that you're grateful for. The gratitude journal that you is very popular nowadays. But I like to end the day thinking about one thing that I'm grateful for. So, you know, maybe you've had a stressful day, but instead of going to sleep, kind of churning through through all of that stress, just identify one thing positive. And that's your working memory. You're actively and intentionally using your working memory to focus on that positive event that you can find in the day. Um, and the second thing that we can do is also just um, write a list of goals for what you want to change. And research has found that consistently identifying two things for how you want to make a change can actually help you and make you more likely to accomplish those things. And I heard the gratitude journal writing it down and then your goals writing it down. Does yes. that make a difference writing things down? I think that writing involves you know, the motor movement, so you're actually being more intentional because sometimes it's easier just to lie in bed and you start thinking and you think, you know, your mind wanders. But having that writing aspect directs your attention and your focus to that activity as well. Do you find that most minds tend to go towards the negative? A lot of people out there, they just can't help it. The negative team <laughs> seems to flood their minds. They ruminate, they, you know, and then it's just one thing after another. Uh, do you find that that's true? You know, that, that negativism or that pessimism isn't necessarily a bad thing. So if you think about it from a kind of survival perspective, if you're walking in the woods for the first time and you're so busy focusing on the flower, you may miss the snake that has the potential to harm you. So it's not a bad thing that we are aware um, of our surroundings and what could potentially harm us. But at the end of the day, you want to also try to frame things in a positive way in order to protect our mental health as well. Okay, in the last minute or so, what are you hoping that people take away from the working memory advantage? I hope that they would see how important working memory is, that really we can use it to make better decisions. In the book, we talk about how uh, the relationship between stress and, and how you can use working memory even to overcome stress, to overcome chronic pain even as well. Things like Alzheimer's, we talk about how working memory can act as a buffer against the cognitive deterioration that can accompany Alzheimer's. Good deal. Dr. Alloway, okay. good to see you as always. We appreciate you and you can get uh, more information on Dr. Alloway's website, which is tracyalloway.com. You can pick up a copy of the Working Memory Advantage wherever books are sold. You can also get a link right on our website, tracyalloway.com.